Hello friends. In the last video, we had seen to create screening design, definitive as well as plaque at Berman, with a practical example. In this video, we are going to learn the analyze of the definitive screening design, with the help of the same example seen in the last video. So, let's begin. Analyze definitive screening design. Use analyze definitive screening design, to analyze a designed experiment, and, identify the most important model terms, as well as, their interactions that can impact the response. You can analyze your design after, you create or define a screening design, and, add at least one response column in your worksheet. Before going for data collection, we must know the data considerations of it. Let's see in detail. Data considerations for, analyze definitive screening design. To ensure that your results are valid, Consider the following guidelines, when you collect data, perform the analysis, and interpret your results. 1. The data must include at least two factors, which can be either continuous, or categorical. A designed experiment in Minitab must have at least two factors, that are either continuous or categorical. If you have only one categorical factor, and, no continuous predictors, use one-way ANOVA. If you have one continuous factor, use fitted line plot. 2. The response variable should be continuous. If the response variable is categorical, your model is less likely to meet the assumptions of the analysis, to accurately describe your data, or, to make useful predictions. If your response variables have two categories, use fit binary logistic regression. If your response variable counts occurrences, such as the number of defects, use fit Poisson model. 3. Ensure that, the measurement system produces reliable response data. If the variability in your measurement system is too high, then, your experiment may lack the power, to find important effects. 4. Each observation should be independent of all other observations. If your observations are dependent, your results might not be valid. Consider the following points to determine whether, your observations are independent. If an observation provides no information, about the value of another observation, the observations are independent, and if an observation provides information about another observation, the observations are dependent. 5. The experimental run should be randomized. Randomization reduces the impact of uncontrolled conditions on the experiment results. Randomization also lets you to estimate the inherent variation in materials and conditions, so that you can make valid statistical inferences, based on the data from your experiment. In some situations, randomization may lead to undesirable run order. For instance, factor level changes can be difficult, expensive, or take a long time, to produce a stable process. Under these conditions, you may want to randomize with a split plot design, to minimize the level changes. 6. Collect data using best practices. To ensure that your results are valid, Consider the following guidelines. Make certain that the data represent the population of interest. Collect enough data to provide the necessary precision. Record the data in the order it was collected, and 7. The model should provide a good fit to the data. If the model does not fit the data, the results can be misleading. In the output, use the residual plots, the diagnostic statistics for unusual observations, and the model summary statistics, to determine how well the model fits the data. Example to analyze definitive screening design. Let's continue the same example, and, use the same run order to collect the data. During data collection, we need to follow all data considerations we had seen now. A group of engineers wants to investigate the effects of seven factors, on the power output of an ultrasonic cleaner. After the engineers collect the data, they enter the response data in an empty column in the worksheet, and, use the option of analyze the design. To analyze definitive screening design, please follow the steps in Minitab 18 and 19. 1. Select STAT, Design of Experiments, Screening, Analyze Screening Design. 2. In Responses, Enter Power Output. 3. Click Terms. 4. In Include the following terms, select Linear, and then, click OK. 5. Click Graphs. 6. Select an option to display all terms. 7. Under Residual Plots, select 4 in 1. 
8. Click OK in each dialog box, to get the results for analyzing screening design. If you are using older versions of Minitab like, 17, 16 or lower, then there is little different procedure, due to the non-availability of separate option for screening design. In that case, we have to use an option of Analyze Factorial Design. Interpretation of the results. In the Pareto chart, terms that are in the model have blue bars, and the terms that are not in the model have gray bars. The engineer sees that, the largest main effects are for train, A, and quiet, D. From the screening experiment, the engineer concludes that, these two factors deserve the most consideration for further analysis. In these results, the main effects for train and quiet, are statistically significant at the 0.05 level, having p-values of 0.004, and 0.017, respectively. We can conclude that, changes in these variables, are associated with changes in the response variable. We need to consider all terms, because sometimes model terms are not significant, but, their interactions with other model terms can be significant. In these results, the model explains 72.56% of the variation. For these data, the R-square value indicates that, the model provides a good fit to the data. If additional models are fit with different terms, then, use the adjusted R-square values, and, the predicted R-square values are used, to compare how well the models fit the data. Looking at the value of R-square, predicted, we cannot use the conclusion from this analysis, to predict the response variable, outside of the considered levels. Use the residuals versus fits plot, to verify the assumption that, the residuals are randomly distributed, and have constant variance. Ideally, the points should fall randomly on both sides of zero, with no recognizable patterns in the points. In our example, there is no such pattern, indicates that, the residuals are randomly distributed and have constant variance. This is all about, to analyze definitive screening design, with the help of a practical example. We will see the next important topic related to the design of experiments, with a practical example in the next video. For references, I have taken some part of this detailed content from Minitab. Now to end, please like this video if you have found it useful, add your valuable comments, and share this video with your friend and colleagues, to improve and refresh their knowledge. If you want to get updates of such videos from our channel, please do not forget to subscribe to it, click on the bell icon and select to get all notifications. And finally, thank you for watching.